Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com, and in this video we're going to do some real-world speed tests against three Android devices that run completely different processors. We have the Google Nexus One, which runs the Snapdragon processor from Qualcomm, running at 1 GHz. The Droid X from Motorola is running a 1 GHz Texas Instruments OMAP processor, and the Samsung Captivate is running Samsung's Hummingbird processor, also clocking in at 1 GHz. This is the same processor that's being used on all Galaxy S smartphones that are being released now and into the fall. So let's get to it. <laughs> Okay, so in this particular video, like I said, we're going to focus on real-world testing. So number one, we're going to see which starts up faster. Number two, we're going to see which does better browsing the internet, rendering pages. Number three, we're going to compare the performance of Google Earth, uh, the Android application, because it's very CPU and GPU intense. And then we're going to do streaming video over YouTube to see which performs the best. So starting off, let's turn on all three devices at the same time if possible and see which one starts up first. So they all have power buttons in different places so this may be a little bit difficult to coordinate but uh, I'm going to kind of move them around so that I can do that okay so there they were pressed at the same time or within at least a second of each other let's see which one starts up first I may fast forward in the video so that you don't have to wait for the boot up all right and they're all going through their startup animations and we should be into the Android operating system in a moment Okay, so I'm going to wait. Oh, Nexus One is first, followed by the Captivate, and it looks like the Droid X is going to come in last. And it announces its presence. <laughs> okay, so let's start off with the test, and I should mention that I've got Froyo installed here on the Google Nexus One. It provides a little bit of an advantage, but of course these two devices are going to be upgraded to Froyo later this year, so everyone can expect to have that. So let's unlock all the devices and we're going to start off on the internet. We should be connected to Wi-Fi. I'm going to give them a minute to settle down because usually they download some emails and it slows down the device. So I'm going to wait about a minute before jumping into the test. Alrighty, great. And we're ready. They're all connected on the same Wi-Fi network. So I'm going to launch the browsers and we're going to try to go to the same website at the same time to get a feel for which device pulls in the website fastest renders it, then we're going to flick around on the page to see which does the best job at scrolling around. Okay, so we've got Pocket Now here. I'm going to try to get them at the same time. And they're off at the exact same time. Let's see which one is fastest. They're all very fast devices. Okay, so the Captivate actually just crashed uh, the browser, so we're going to have to open that back up, but the Droid X beat out the Google Nexus One. Let's get back into the Captivate browser. That is very strange uh, that that actually happened, so we'll jump right back into Pocket Now. Hopefully it won't crash this time. Okay, we're back with the Captivate loaded Pocket Now this time without crashing, so let's just flick down the page gently and get a feel for performance in terms of scrolling, and it looks like the Captivate's actually the smoothest. The Droid X is also very smooth. Nexus One is a little bit choppy here, uh, so let's zoom in and we're going to click on one of these permalinks so you can get a sense for how smoothly they zoom. All pretty darn good. Uh, we'll try to get the headline at the same time here. And we'll load these. Ready, set, go. Okay, that went at the same time. Let's see which loads the page first. So the Droid X1 before. All right, and so the Captivate and the Droid X finished at the exact same time. The Nexus One is struggling a little bit uh, with the final elements of the page. Okay, and the Nexus One finished. Let's go to another website. This time we'll go to Engadget.com on all three of the devices to see which loads first. Okay, and they're off to go to Engadget. Let's see which, uh, which loads first. And, okay, Droid X finished first, followed by the Nexus One, followed by the Captivate. So far, the Droid X has come ahead two times, the Captivate one time, and the Nexus One has, hasn't has won yet. So let's flip, flip down the page. These are longer pages than what we saw previously. 
device went to sleep here and see how smoothly the scrolling is and you can see that the Captivate definitely has a little bit of an advantage over definitely the Nexus 1. The Droid X is extremely smooth as well which is nice to see. So in terms of web browsing performance, they're all very good. It looks like the Captivate and the Droid are faster than the Nexus One uh, running Froyo, and especially the Captivate has extremely smooth scrolling, uh, but the Droid X isn't far behind in terms of that. So let's bounce into another application. This time we're gonna go to Google Earth, uh, which as mentioned is a very GPU and CPU intensive application. So we're gonna see how these different processors handle uh, the, the graphic intensiveness of Google Earth. So let's find it and we're gonna try to launch it at the same time. So we have it here, here, and here. Let's try to get it at the same time. Okay. So here we go. And it looks like the Nexus one is going to go to somewhere in Africa. Okay, well what I wanna do here is search for a particular location and just kind of fly to the area. So let's go to Paris. Try to do it at the same time or as close to the same time as possible. You can kind of get a sense for the animation and the graphical prowess by how smooth uh, that this flies around. Very smooth on the Captivate, a little bit choppy on the Nexus one, very smooth on the Droid X. Let's fly to another location and then we will jump in to the next test here, testing the speed of these different devices. So this time let's go to Australia. Okay, so they're all typed in. Let's search for Australia. Try to do it as evenly as possible. And we're gonna fly away. A Little bit choppy on the Droid X, very, very smooth on the Captivate. And we have stopped here in Australia. Overall, all these devices perform quite well um, in the Google Earth application, uh, but particularly the, the Droid X and the Captivate do a particularly good job. Let's do one more just for good measure. We're going to fly all the way across uh, the world to New York. Okay, we're gonna hit the go button and you be the judge this time of how fast um, these, these go. So very nice indeed. So that's the end of this test, Google Earth test. It looks like again that the Droid X and the Captivate are a little bit faster than the Nexus One in, in being able to render the graphics on this Google Earth program. Now we're gonna jump into the YouTube application, try to play back some video and see if there's any difference in how smoothly uh, they play back and how fast they buffer. Okay, and here they are, the YouTube applications. Okay, we're gonna search for videos from Pocket now just so that we can play back the same video across all devices. And let's see what we have here. Now what's very interesting to note here is the difference in screen resolution. These two devices have the same screen resolution, 800 down and 480 across. So we're seeing the exact same amount of screen data. On the bottom, we see Fennec Alpha Tor 3, Fennec Alpha Tor 3, but because the Droid X has an additional 54 pixels down, I know it's not that big of a deal, uh, you can see a little bit more of the one below. Okay, so what we're going to do is click on um, this video here. We'll try to start it at the same time and see which buffer is the first. First, second, third. And in terms of which video is playing back the smoothest, they all look pretty much the same. They're playing in the highest quality possible through these applications. Um, what is different is sort of the playback quality. The Captivate looks the best, the best blacks. Um, you, it also looks quite good on the AMOLED display, and then the Droid X looks a little bit washed out. So I'm going to let you uh, look at the videos for just another second to see if you can notice any difference in the video playback capability. So overall, there was really no clear winner here. We had the Nexus One, which started up the fastest. We had the Captivate and the Droid X, which were fastest in uh, web browsing and smoothness of scrolling. Then we had the Captivate, which was slightly ahead in buffering a video on YouTube. Uh, so it's really inconclusive. These are all very well performing devices that feel quick on a day to day operation. If you want us to test something in particular between these three devices, which all have different processors, please leave a comment below the video and we will try to oblige. Thanks for watching and please thumbs up the video if you liked it. That's it for now.